exciting space exhibit. My name's Fernie. Boys and girls, would you like to take a journey that is out of this world? How can we get there? You're right, our space shuttle will take us there. But first, in order to protect ourselves, we must put on our astronaut suit and helmet. Make sure you're buckled in. Safety is our number one priority. Get ready. Four, three, two, one, and lift off. Here we go. Ah! All systems in good shape. but exciting ride. Wasn't it fun? I think I see the International Space Station up ahead. Let's get a closer look and see if anybody's on board. Roger, this is the Intellizium shuttle trying to reach the International Space Station. Can anyone hear me? Roger out. Roger who? This is astronaut Daniel Levis representing the United States NASA team aboard the International Space Station. Awesome! Boys and girls, this is the famous astronaut who was raised here in El Paso, just like you and me. Hi, astronaut Olivas. My name is Fernie, and with me are girls and boys from the Intellizium. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to outer space. What are you doing out here in space? <laughs> Well, I'm working with other astronauts to fix a couple of things on the International Space Station. But in order to go outside, I have to wear a spacesuit and helmet. Fernie, I see you and your Intelligent friends have yours on. Come on, let's go for a spacewalk. Out here in space, there's nothing pulling us down to the ground because there isn't any gravity. Without gravity, we can just float around. Unfortunately, there isn't any oxygen for us to breathe either, which is why we have to wear a special helmet. Our spacesuit also protects us from the extreme space temperatures. Right now, it's freezing out here. It's so cold, you could freeze water in less than one second. Arr, it's really, really cold out here. Boys and girls, that's why it's important to keep our spacesuits on. We don't want to freeze, huh, Danny? Thanks for your help, Bernie. I think we fixed everything that needed to be fixed at this time. You're welcome. Hey, Danny. How do I get to the moon? This way, but we'll need a lunar module spacecraft to land and help us take off from the moon. The lunar module takes us to the moon surface where we can explore, observe, and do all kinds of experiments. The moon is a ball of rock made up of what looks like a bunch of gravel and dust. This is why nothing grows on the moon. Since there isn't any air or water, people can't live here. It's also very cold at night and very hot during the day. Look at the many craters that were blasted out by meteorites many, many years ago. Wow, our planet Earth looks so beautiful from up here. It reminds me of a giant blue marble. Danny, did you know that the moon orbits around our planet Earth? Yeah, Fernie. And did you know that all eight planets, comets, and asteroids orbit around the sun? That's right, Danny. Let's see. For instance, Mercury is the first and closest planet to the sun. Venus, the second planet, is very hot because it has thousands of volcanoes that are surrounded by rivers of lava. Third is our planet, Earth. It is the only planet in the solar system that we can live in because it has water and air, which we can breathe. Mars is the fourth planet. It is known as the red planet because of the reddish color that covers it. Jupiter is the fifth and largest of all planets. It has faint rings that are made of dark grains of dust. It is also covered with active volcanoes and lots of gravity. The sixth planet is Saturn. It has bright, visible, wide rings and is considered the second largest planet. Uranus, the seventh planet, was discovered through the use of a telescope. It orbits on its side and has faint rings. Neptune, the eighth planet, has sandstorms occurring every day. The last planet to be discovered is Pluto, which is the smallest, coldest, and furthest from the sun. It is currently considered a dwarf planet in the solar system. Space 
this goes on forever. Our solar system is in the galaxy called the Milky Way. Did you know that stars are giant spinning balls of hot gases? We can use a telescope to see them. When stars are grouped together and form a pattern, they are called constellations. Warning, warning, warning. Life support systems failing. Uh-oh, let's get back to the shuttle quick. Three, two, one, last off. Shuttle Intelligence, this is the NASA Mission Control Room. You are now approaching Biggs Field Air Force Base in Fort Bliss, Texas. Prepare for landing. Phew, we made it! Welcome home, boys and girls. Great job. Did you have fun in space? I did too. I wonder what other things astronauts do in space and what other places they can travel. I'll keep using my telescope to see if I can discover a new place to visit. Maybe you and I can blast off in the space soon. Until then, boys and girls, keep reaching for the stars. 